Okay, here we are. Next, we're going to install our control horns here. These uh, Chris provides in the kit. Um, they have a, a bottom side and then a top side piece as well. Uh, today, I'm going to CA glue this part together. Uh, I'm going to clip this because I don't want it to go all the way through my wing. I want the or my aileron. I want it to look nice and pretty. And then I'm going to simply, uh, once this is CA'd, I'm going to hot glue this in place on the uh, control surface. So I'm not going to be using this top piece. Normally, if you do use this top piece, you would install this through your control surface. Then on the top side, you'd put that on like that. Your control surface would be in here, and you'd glue it on, and that would lock your control horn in place nicely. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm only going to use this one some glue and I'm going to cut this back just a little tiny bit with my clippers here because I don't want it to poke all the way through my surface. So I'm just going to cut that back a little bit like that. That's going to get installed right like that. I've got our push rod connectors here that we'll be installing and uh, so I guess let's, uh, let's do this. I'll clip the other one down too. So that one's clipped down. Now we'll start installing these. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is take our push rod connector here, take the nut off, and there's two washers on here. I'll leave one on, and I'm going to install it on this side here. Push that through. Let's see, I don't think I'm going to get that other washer in place, but I'm definitely going to be able to get the nut on there. So, just a tiny bit of blue thread, lock, thread locker here on here. Tiny bit of thread locker. Get our nut. All that on there just like that and we'll do the other side as well back off the nut again helps if I have my microphone attached anyway rookie mistake um, slip our washer on there like that. I want this one on that side. It's like that. Put a little bit of thread locker on here again. Not much. Just enough to wet the top of it. And then we'll put our nut through here. Just like that. So we got one that's going to go on that side, one that's going to go on that side. Um, let's see, let me get the metric nut driver for that. It's going to be one of these two, I think. Yep, so this is a, I think that's 1.5 millimeter. So I just backed out that nut just a little bit or the screw. Just so I can push the push rod through there all the way. Again, back this one out too. Um, so, here's our push rod. Put a Z bend on here. Just like that. And then this push rod. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put any uh, tape on this side to keep our um, to keep our uh, hinge tape in place. I'm going to put a little piece of tape over that right now. Put 
before we move forward. There we go. I'm just going to keep that hinge tape in there nicely. We'll come up. That one on there, right about like that. Cut that little bit of excess off. There we go. So, where was I? Still on the push rod, I think. So, I put my Z bend on here. these out of the way okay so I got the z-bend on here this control horn or push rod is going to get installed on this one bend it around so it's like that uh, I guess while I got my glue open here I'll put a little bit of medium CA glue right in that joint right there Okay, all right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of CA glue on here. A little bit on both sides here, just to lock that into place. I'm gonna hit that with some accelerant. Set that aside, let it dry. We'll do the next one. A little bit of CA, again, this is medium CA glue. Put a little bit too much there, but anyway, that's all right. Hit it with some accelerant. Let that dry for a second. Put my cap back on my CA glue here. Okay, so it doesn't take long for that accelerant to cure this. So, this is the horn that I am going to install on this side here. So, I'm just using my push rod as a guide, making it nice and straight there. Right about here is where I'm going to install that. So I'm just gonna put a little mark on the front and the back of that. Right like that. I'm just gonna take my hobby knife here, cut that out. I'm not cutting all the way through. The balsa is easy enough to cut through with this little knife. I just kind of dissect it out of there. And it just takes a minute to whittle that out of there and create a little hole for your the leg or the shank of the control horn. We'll do a couple test fits here. Blow the hole out a little bit. Just kind of shaving it with my hobby knife. Okay, let's see if that fits. I might cut that down a little bit more. It doesn't need to be that long. Almost there, a little snug. Open it up a little bit more. So we're gonna glue this in there. <laughs> I'm 
right let's see how that goes in there now and to fit nice and there we go perfect I'm happy with that all right I will glue this in place and I think on this one I'm going to use CA <clears throat> you could use uh, hot glue if you wanted but I'm going to CA this one in place so it's in there nice and snug Little bit of CA there. I mean, I ain't going anywhere. And my push rod over will cut that. Right about there we'll open this up a little bit with my nut driver here we'll push this through the connector I'll tack it down in place by tightening the screw And there we have it. You can see I came through the top a little bit, but that's all right. You could probably heat that, hit that with a hot, uh, with the gun and it'll take care of that. All right, let's go on to the next side. Again, same idea. Get our push rod here. Put a Z bend on the push rod. Right like that. And then, if I remember right, I didn't drill this hole out. Let's see if I can get it to go through by wiggling it. And I think it's going to go through there. There we go. Nice, tight fit. Bend the push rod a little bit. There we go. Now, let's mark this one for where we want it to be installed. to say right about like that I'll put a little mark with my pen and then this one I'm gonna knock it back a little bit cut it I'm actually gonna make a tip with this one Kind of like that. Because once we glue this in there, it's not going anywhere. So we really don't need all that. We got our marks made there. I'm just going to cut, cut, cut across here. And just work away at the Balsa that's in there, make some several small slices in there just to work out the material. Right like this, just kind of work your hobby knife in there, create a nice little indent blow it out let's do a test fit here just a little bit more We're almost there work the hobby knife back and forth in there just to dig it out a little bit and try not to go all the way through happy with that uh, not quite I want to go a little bit more oh 
Ah, nice and flush. All right, got some glue. Fill the hole with some glue, some CA glue. And there we go, that ain't going anywhere. Push rod lays over there nicely. All right, let's take and cut our push rod back. And notice I got my control horns, uh, arms relatively straight up and down. We're gonna check those here in a little bit with our, um, our servo center and tester. Sometimes you gotta wiggle these through a little bit. Sometimes this screw isn't all the set screw isn't all the way through. There we go. Put the set screw back in there. Right, let's see how that looks. There we go. And again, I dimpled it a little bit, not bad. All right, let's put it on our servo tester, see where we're at here. Guess I could get a Y harness, make it easy on myself. Got a little y, <coughs> y harness here. Match it up, yellow to yellow, brown to brown, just like that. Yellow to yellow, brown to brown. Plug it into our tester here. Match it up, the signal's yellow, signal's gonna go right there. Power it on. Oh, and of course I got it reversed. And that's the centered position. So now we can take and look and make some adjustments here. Or we could do this with it on the model. There we go. Ready to be installed on the airplane.